In today's video, we're going to be talking about all the investments you guys are going to be able to make this week with Foot Birthday. So just for the video, does start a quick little ad on a trading service I offer over on Twitch for the cheapest trading guides out there for just £4, €4, Euro, all free with Amazon Prime. You'll receive daily trading and investing guides covering PlayStation, Xbox and PC with an array of methods covering all budgets. And I've been trading for over 10 years, making over 100 million in multiple different FIFAs. And now for the last four years, I've made 10 million coins in just the first month. So in today's video, we're going to be talking about a bunch of investments you'll be able to make before foot birthday and during foot birthday. Uh, there's about three different topics. Those topics are gold cards before they go out of packs for foot birthday, Buying Forda over the weekend, uh, actually buying players used for free Evos, and uh, finally we're going to be covering buying the actual foot birthday cards themselves. So first off, let's talk about, I guess, in chronological order, and the first investment that you guys are going to be able to make are going to be buying the gold versions of the players who get foot birthdays. The reason for this is obviously when someone gets a promo card, their gold card is in packs. When someone's gold card is in packs, the supply doesn't increase. But what can happen is people can buy the cards for SBCs. As people proceed to buy the cards for SBCs, the supply gets lower and lower and lower. And as a result of the supply getting lower, the price goes up. So, for example, there actually weren't many players who were SBC fodder last year, which is quite interesting. Um, as the only base cards was Marquinhos, Silva, Muller, Emerson, Lafont, uh, Zinchenko, Nunes, Felix, Koke, Chiquizzi, Yera, and Sal. Uh, and the only fodder of this was Marquinhos, Silva, Muller and Koke. So quite interesting that there weren't many SBC fodder. But let's go have a little look how they did. Uh, they didn't do too amazingly, but then what I will say is that fodder in general during foot birthday didn't actually rise apart from 89s and 90s. So with fodder not rising, but these cards still rising, uh, sorry, with fodder literally went down in price, but with these cards rising, uh, it shows a really good trend because they're kind of going, you know, they're the salmon going up the waterfall of cascading fodder. Um, but yeah, so the rises the rise aren't amazing, but you just have to take it with a t pinch of salt. So you got Bernardo Silva before going out of packs. Went out of packs on the uh, 24th, went from 27k up to 30k. Again, really nothing too amazing. Uh, Marquinhos went from 27k, he went up to 30k as well. Muller, um, Muller went from 20k, went up there to 24k, which isn't too bad. And finally, Koke went out of packs for the mini release, uh, went from 2.3k. Uh, up to 3k. So again, not amazing rises, but this year Fodder does way way better. So the second thing that we're going to be covering is going to be covering free Evos. Now obviously in FIFA we get free Evos and paid Evos and there's actually a substantial difference in the demand for the Evo depending if it's free or not. The free Evos are very very heavily demanded almost no matter what is you know asked, whereas the paid Evos very rarely are demanded. So what does this do? Well it means if we go and get ourselves a free Evo when there are special cards being used, they're actually a really good investment even after they've risen. Um, this can either be buying them late into the evening or it can be buying them early in the morning. Well, you know, surely when buying something inflated, it's not a good investment. Well, let me go and show you some cards from last um, from last week. If I can spell Verts. Can I spell Verts? We can indeed. Now, this guy was most recently used in the Evo Pick It Up, but this card is quite rare. So what ended up happening was that when this card was used, when you had the first day, and the first day he went from 18k to 23k. Well, he was one of the only promo cards that was able to be used in this Evo, and it was a free Evo, meaning a lot of people did it. Which meant that you could go and buy this guy for 23k in the evening and the morning after the Evo came out. So if you can identify special cards that are being used that really aren't too inflated, yeah, I guess 17 to 23 is probably up like 30%. But if we go and look at what happened, again, there's something I recommended on my trading guide. Recommend buying him at 23. He went from 23 to 26. Uh, sorry, 20, 23 to 56. 56 to 77. 77 to 88. And by the end of the week, he was 105k. Meaning you could have over quadruple your coins on this player if you just identified him nice and early to go and invest in him. Again, it doesn't matter if stuff's slightly inflated because if it's a free Evo, people are just going to consistently complete it through the week. That isn't so much the case with the paid Evos, uh, and this is, you know, this is proof right here. Now, these cards will fluctuate nicely because, again, every now and again people go and complete them. But if we go to what with Balak, he went up here to 100 and really hasn't been progressive. If anything, he's been a bit regressive. Um, and the demand should probably drop off for him as other Evos become more popular. So, paid Evos, 
yes, you have that initial rise, but after that initial rise, there's no more rise. The three Evos normally just rise and rise and rise and rise. So the second investment we're going to be looking for are players used for free Evos, or maybe paid Evos that are extremely well demanded. You know, we know there's stuff with five-star skills, five-star weak foot. You know, if it is 50 to 100k and it is an extremely demanded Evo, again, it's harder to gauge it. Because every free Evo does well, whereas only, you know, give or take some well, some paid Evos do well. Um, you know, you can invest in it, but it's just more risky if you're trying to invest in um, promo cards used for paid Evos. The next investment we're going to be talking about, and again, we're going for it chronologically, is going to be fodder. Now, you're going to be going and buying your fodder over on the Saturday. Uh, wait, you've got Saturday morning or Friday evening. If you're happy to gamble, that certain fodder won't be needed for... Um, for the upgrade SBCs we seem to get every Saturday, well then you can go and buy it Saturday evening. But your safest bet is basically buying Friday, anywhere from 7pm all the way through to um, you know 10am in the morning on a, on a Saturday. And then Fodder normally rises Saturday morning going into the afternoon because of hype around the SBC. Now what Fodder would you be looking to buy? You could generally go and buy anything from 83s because 83s did rise off of floor price this week. And because they rose off a of floor price, we can tell they're at a certain level of rarity that if they're you know, required a fair bit this week, they can do well. 84s, always a good punt. 85s need to go down. They need to go down to about 4.5k-ish because at the moment they're just too inflated. And unless you're really lucky and they do require so many 85s next week, then um, yeah, too risky. Uh, 86s aren't looking too bad at the current price. Uh, sorry, 86s aren't looking too bad at what they'll probably go down to. They'll probably go down to about 7k-ish. And then anything above an 86, the thing is, the odds on it being needed for an upgrade SBC is significantly lower. Uh, very, very commonly you'll see 83s to 86s plus in forms being the requirement. But because, um, but because, yeah, these are just too high rated and very rarely do they go minimum amount of 87s. So I would try and keep it at 83 to 86. Uh, there are other investments such as De Bruyne. Uh, I've picked up a few De Bruynes myself. Just because last year we did see 90s and 91s doing very, very well. So I would like to go for De Bruyne. Obviously Haaland's too inflated, so we're not going to go anywhere near that. Uh, and the inform Harry Kane, if he goes down to 75k, is also going to be a good investment. But um, yeah, I need that card to personally drop. So that is going to be covering fodder. Fodder, you're just going to go and sell Thursday. Um, well, De Bruyne and uh, Harry Kane, you could actually hold for the two weeks of foot birthday. But uh, the low rated fodder, you'd be selling Thursday after 6pm. Uh, or before 6pm if it didn't do well on the Wednesday. And finally getting underway with the foot birthday cards. Now foot birthday cards are a bit, yeah, they're a bit give or take. Um, icons, none of the icons did very well as an investment, so don't recommend looking at the icons. And the base cards only did well if they were under 150k. So let me go and get you some examples here. We've got Marquinhos, Silva, Muller and Emerson. So, if we go look at Marquinhos card, there was no positive rise right here. He did five, sorry, that's a lie. He did 560s to 630, but there's just no money on that. Unless you've got a very low daily average there and a very high daily average there, there's no money on that. And this is more so the case of Bernardo Silva. If we go look at Bernardo Silva, there's no rise. So if there's no rise, there's no profit to be made. Whereas if we look at the cheap cards like uh, Muller, we can see that Muller bottomed out here on the Monday and then rose all the way there to the second Friday of birthday, which is interesting. We then have Emerson. Uh, we can see he bottomed out here again on the Tuesday. So I think your, your buy time will probably be Monday evening, Tuesday morning, or if you want to gamble a bit more, maybe Sunday. Uh, and he rose from Tuesday all the way through to, again, the second Friday of birthday. And then the promo they would have gone down for was the Trophy Titans. And yeah, that's about it. It was, uh, it was very consistent. I've already done my research. Uh, the only players that went up were Yera, So, Chakwezi, Coke, K, uh, Lafont, Emerson and Muller. All 150k below. Uh, anything above that just kind of either held for about a week and then went down. Or just kept going down and down and down. Uh, regarding those cards, again, you could probably hold on to them for two weeks. Looking at last year's trends. If you want to play it very safe, you can go and sell it on the Saturday, Sunday of um, you know, the weekend they go out of packs. So I'd say that's going to wrap it up for investments. I'd say plenty of things you go into. Just put a little bit of money here, put a little bit of money there. If one thing doesn't do well, well then hopefully it'll be uh, caught up with the next. Thank you very much for watching. And I shall see you guys tomorrow with, or later today, with another trading and investing video.